In this AWS S3 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a bucket, how to enable versioning and use it, and how to add permissions using ACL and bucket policy. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now for free tutorials and computer related tips. And now, let us get started. To create S3 bucket, first log into your AWS console and search for S3 service inside AWS service search box. Select create bucket and then choose a name and I'm going to call it for example .sway2 since I have another one called .sway. You can choose the region here or just leave it for the, as default. And after that you can copy any settings from some other buckets. So for example since I have another bucket called .sway I can copy all the settings from that one. Then click next and from the properties you have other options here which we're going to talk about them later. And then the permissions and you review everything and then select create bucket. In the main screen as you see there is a create bucket, delete bucket and you can empty the bucket. Here there are like the number of the buckets, the created buckets, and since I have two buckets here, it shows two buckets. And both of them, they are in the same region, so I have only one region here. There is a feature called S3 versioning. Versioning is an option which will keep a history of all your files history. You can edit and save the file and then open it and edit it again, and you're gonna have the ability to restore and check all the history of the files and all the editing that you've done to it. To enable versioning, select the bucket. So I'm gonna select .sway2 and then I'm gonna click on properties. And inside properties, you're gonna find a lot of features. One of them is versioning. And I'm gonna click on versioning, enable it, and then I'm gonna save it. Now choose that it's enabled. To test versioning, I've created one file and I called it test. So I'm gonna open it and I say like, one and then I'm gonna save it now. I'm gonna open the bucket that we've created which is called dot sway2. I'm gonna copy the file test to that bucket. Then I'm gonna click on upload. So it's uploaded now. Now let us open again the file and we change one into two and then I'm gonna save it and I upload the file again. Let me open it again and I put three and I add more text and I'm going to save it. Let us upload the file again. Now if you click on the file and you check here on the top, you're going to find that this is showing the latest version. If you click on that drop down, you're going to find that there are three times. So you have the versioning showing that there are three versions. If you check one version of them, and then you click on open, you're going to see number two. Okay, let us check the, uh, I mean, change the version. We'll go to that one, and you can see that this is the first edit. We'll go to the latest and open. So you have now all the history. So even if by mistake you did something wrong to the file or someone, if, if someone has a permission or a lot of people or a big team working on a code, you still have all the older versions. Also in S3, using a bucket, you can change the permissions. And to check the permissions, just go to the main bucket, then select the bucket. And from there you can find the permission. Just click on the permission. And you're gonna find three ways to change the permission. Either the access control list, or the bucket policy, or the course configuration. But usually I use the access control list or the bucket policy. For the bucket policy, you can add here a JSON format, something showing effect is allow, allow it or deny it. You put some principle, you put some I am, I am uh, users and the actions. To show you some example, I copied something to show you an example for a policy. So for this policy, it's allowing for the principal 
for a user Alice and a root and for all the buckets inside S3 so it's showing asterisk and for the resources you can show like you can add the name here of the bucket so we have dots way to we can add here dots way to and after that you just simply save it for the access control it's very simple you can here add the user and give it read or write or full control you can have even different groups which they are predefined by s3 so you have any authenticated user or everyone if you want to make it just public or log for someone to have access to the logs so that's it for today guys and in the next video i'm going to show you how to create a static website using s3 without the need of having any server side technologies thank you bye